In this derivation, we're going to prove the formula for the acceleration of gravity, which is small g is equal to the universal gravity constant, capital G, multiplied by the mass of the large object, which in this case is the Earth, divided by the radius of the Earth squared. We begin this proof by writing down the two ways that we can write the force of attraction due to gravity between two objects. The first formula that we have for the mass of an object on the Earth's surface that has a mass of small m is going to be the weight is equal to the mass multiplied by the acceleration due to gravity. And that is uh, from Newton's second law, the f is equal to ma law. Our second way that we can figure out the weight of the object is to consider the force of attraction between the mass of the smaller object and the mass of the Earth. We use Newton's universal law of gravity to get the force in this case, so again we use the letter W for the weight, which is the force, equals capital G, the mass of the large object in this case is the mass of the Earth, the mass of the smaller object is small m, and that's divided by the distance between their centres, which in this case is just the radius of the Earth, and we have to square that. Because we have two formulas now that are essentially telling us the same thing, the weight of an object on the Earth's surface, we can let the two of them equal to each other. So we have mg is equal to capital G m, which is the mass of the Earth, multiplied by the mass of the object, divided by the radius of the Earth squared. When we look at this, we can see we have a common factor on each side, which is the mass of the smaller object. We can cancel that off off of each side. So we see that we're now left with the formula uh, for the acceleration of gravity is gm over r squared. So this will basically give us the acceleration of gravity at any point we wish on the Earth's surface provided that we know uh, the mass of the Earth, the universal gravity constant, and most importantly, the distance to the centre of the Earth. If we now look at a situation where an object might be in orbit around the Earth, for instance, say, the International Space Station, in this case, we still have a mass called small m, but this time it's a height above the Earth of a certain amount of metres. We need to consider that the distance has changed slightly in this example because we're going to have to add the radius of the Earth plus the height of the object above the Earth's surface. So we have an increased radius or an increased distance. But the same formula still applies if we want to figure out what the acceleration of gravity is at that point in space. Applying it to the formula, we get the acceleration of gravity is equal to capital G the mass of the Earth is still the exact same, divided by, now instead of the radius squared, it's going to be the radius of the Earth plus the height of the object above the Earth's surface. And when we know those two distances in metres, we have to square the answer. So the same formula applies whether an object is on the Earth's surface or if it's up in orbit uh, at some point in space around the Earth. And that is that formula proved.